Welcome back. COVID cases continue to drop. I'm joined now by Dr. Jeff Potoff from UW Health to learn more on where we stand in the fight against COVID right now. Dr. Potoff, always good to have you on the show. And I think a question a lot of people have now are, are we in an endemic? You know, it's a good question. And I think an endemic is something that you look back and you can tell that you're in it. Uh, it's hard to look forward and say we're in an endemic. But what it would mean is that COVID, we live with it, uh, but it's fairly predictable. There aren't big surges. Uh, we don't have concerns about hospitals being overrun. You know, on our current trajectory, uh, we're likely to get there. Uh, I think no one has that crystal ball about if there could possibly be a variant uh, in the next several months uh, that, you know, throws us back a little bit. But right now, there's nothing on the horizon. I, I think we could get to an endemic state sometime later this year. With COVID cases rising in Europe, how closely are you watching that trend and what do you think it means for our future? You know, it's concerning. We are seeing areas where COVID cases are starting to take off a little bit. Uh, we're certainly seeing it in Ukraine uh, for obvious reasons, people cohorting together. Uh, we're seeing it in China a little bit. Uh, you know, anytime we have lots of transmission of the disease, we increase the likelihood of a variant developing. Uh, some of those variants won't be a big deal, but it's possible one could. So uh, certainly something to keep an eye on if we do see uh, high rates of transmission in other parts of the world, even if not here in the United States. The Pfizer CEO is now saying that a fourth vaccine dose is necessary. I'm wondering what you think about that. And as you can imagine, there are people out there who say, well, clearly this is now just about money. They just keep adding these vaccine doses. What's your take? Yeah, I think from the science of it, uh, saying that a fourth dose is going to be necessary is probably accurate. Uh, I think the bigger question in my mind is when. Uh, how durable is that third dose? And when will we need another dose? Will we need another dose because our immunity has waned? Will we need another dose because there's a variant that we want to cover? Uh, so I think it's fair to, to say that there will be a time where we'll need another booster, uh, but I'm not yet sure that we know when that would be. Is it soon or is it you know, sometime this fall? We were hearing so much about a possible vaccine for the youngest children. What's the update on that? It seems like it was all hands on deck and now we haven't heard anything about it for a while. Yeah, I think, you know, the next three to four weeks, you'll hear more. Uh, and the interesting thing is now both Moderna and Pfizer are on the same timeline where you might see both manufacturers submit their data to the FDA to get those youngest amongst us vaccinated. Uh, and uh, then I think parents might have a choice. We'll have data on a two-dose series from Moderna, a three-dose series from Pfizer, how they perform. Uh, could be a little bit reminiscent of when we had Moderna, Pfizer, and Johnson & Johnson earlier in the pandemic, uh, folks trying to decide, you know, which one do they want for themselves. It'd be like that, but now deciding for their children. Okay, still a lot going on. Dr. Potoff, we appreciate your time. Thank you.